Now is the winter of our discontent made glorious summer by this. This is about to be real. It's my fourth Shakespearean graphic novel, Richard III. And uh, I'd like you to help me make it become a reality. Hello, my name's Kev F. I write and draw comics. You might know me as a guy who's worked for many years for the Beano. I write and draw for the Beano. I've worked for Marvel Comics. I've worked on everything from Zig and Zag Zogazine to Red Dwarf Smegazine to the Gladiators comic to <gasps> lots of things in between. And in recent years, I have been producing graphic novels. Now, the first uh, stories I produced were these adaptations of the Bible. My tale from the Bible, you'll find these all online, full colour adaptations of Bible stories, uh, which were paid for by Bibles society, which is very good of them. And then, emboldened by this, I produced my first Shakespearean graphic novel, Findlay Macbeth, which I, many people on Kickstarter helped me to produce, my first graphic novel, which I launched in April 2020. Yeah, that didn't go as well as planned. However, I did have a good lockdown and it gave me time to produce my second Shakespearean graphic novel, which is Hamlet, Prince of Denmark Street. And then I had time enough in lockdown to produce my third Shakespearean graphic novel, which was the Midsummer Night's Dream Team. Finley Macbeth, I, I took a few liberties. It's usually kings in castles with stabbing and blood and death. In my version, he's now a salesman in 1970s Scotland who gets passed over for promotion and then his wife gets all ambitious and then it's stabbing and blood and death. Look at that, stabby, stabby, blood, blood. And with Hamlet, Prince of Denmark Street, uh, usually it's kings in castles with stabbing and blood and death. But in my version, I turned him into a punk rocker. He's in a punk rock band on Denmark Street where the music business used to be in 1977 and then his dad gets killed and his uncle takes over the music business and then it's all stabbing and blood and death look at that stabby stabby blood blood and then midsummer night's dream i turned it into the midsummer night's dream team i turned it into a heist movie do you want to see the stabbing and the blood and the death there isn't any there's no stabbing and blood and death there's titania there's oberon there's puck the creepy table magician and there's a man with a donkey's head who's called bottom because he's an ass that's why you do shakespeare at school so you can't get told off for saying bottom and ass and now my fourth Shakespearean graphic novel is Richard III. I've particularly designed Richard III for the sort of reader who probably reads stuff like this. Dog Man, Captain Underpants, or those books that look a bit like Dog Man and Captain Underpants. You see, having worked for the Beano and having worked for a lot of humour magazines over the years, I've realised or been reminded that this is a thing that I actually do very well because I also write and perform the Scottish Falsetto Sock Puppet Theatre and I go into schools on a regular basis delivering my comic art masterclass. So making kids laugh is a thing I do as well as educating and entertaining which is what I do with my Shakespearean graphic novels but it was when I was at a recent comic festival I uh, was suddenly realised that I'm doing these books and my table, which I, I stand behind at comic festivals and events and book festivals, uh, my table attracts lots of families with kids. And there was like a seven-year-old kid there with a book, and it wasn't Dogman, it was a Dogman look-alike book. And I thought, my books are missing an audience. I, I do, you, you have to be about 10 years old, really, to be into reading Shakespeare, especially in the dramatic style in which I do Finley Macbeth, Prince of Denmark Street, and Midsummer Night's Dream Team. But I wanted to do a Shakespeare book that the seven-year-olds could read, as well as it being a good read for the older readers. So, Richard III, in the style of Dogman and Captain Underpants, not in the style of it, it's in my style, it's written true to my style, it's written much more like my work in the Beano has been in the past, much more like my humorous work, which I've been doing for many, many years. It's coming next. I'm producing it now and the Kickstarter campaign is now open. I would love you to join my Kickstarter. You can simply buy a copy of the book. That would be support enough and it costs you only the cost of the book and the postage. Thank you for that if you want to do that. You can even donate money with no obligation or um, come back from me. If you want to participate more, um, you can get copies of my previous books as well or you could get original artwork, you could get original sketches. Here are some of the sketches I've done for people who joined in with the campaigns for the previous book. I will do individual sketches for you. I'm sure these are incredibly valuable now. And you can even be in the book. There is the Battle of Bosworth, which takes place uh, towards the end of uh, King Richard III. A horse, a horse, my kingdom for a horse, and all that. You can be a participant in the Battle of Bosworth. You will be drawn in the book. You could even have your name mentioned as a character in 
Richard III. That's right, I'm still producing those pages. You can be in the book. So, join the Kickstarter in whichever capacity you wish and you will be helping Richard III in this style to make it onto the shelves, onto the streets, online, everywhere. Everywhere you can get books, you'll be able to get this book along with my other books. Uh, tell you what, why not just buy all my other books right now if you haven't already got them. Uh, go to uh, my website and you get signed copies. But go online, you can get them anywhere. Uh, you can get them from Waterstones by the way. Go to Waterstones and ask for them because you can get them. They're on the system if they're not on the shelf. Uh, but the new book is going to be joining them. Thank you in anticipation for your support for Richard the Third. <laughs>